Hey, yo, what it is? It's your boy, Young Casey Veggies. Shout out to Hot New Hip Hop and make sure y'all look out for that Live and Grow coming soon. Let's get it. Listen. Live and Grow is like, it's just like depicting my whole story, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I like to call it like a young, a young man's classic album, like, like a real inspirational hip hop album that just like talks to the young kids that's just like me, you know, talks to all the people around the world that that's looking for that inspiration, looking for that that source of that drive or ambition, you know, it's like it's a real positive, feel good West Coast album, but it's for the whole world. And it's definitely like my best work to date. I feel like just the growth there, you know, the the self expression and just the stuff I'm talking about. I'm talking about what I wanna talk about and I'm just being me. And um, you know, a lot of albums, I feel like a lot of artists ain't just being themselves nowadays. And um, I think on this album, that's what I tried to do the, the most, is just be myself and have fun with it. And um, I think it's gonna be crazy. Like, I'm super excited to see what people think about it. I kind of been like chill this last year or two, like not really dropping too much, but I was more just gearing people, like I wanted to get people ready to hear the album. But um, yeah, I, I just can't wait to keep grinding, man. Like I'm gonna start trying different things and dropping more music. And, you know, when the album drops, it's not like, that's not the end of me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got, it's funny because I, I recorded over 100 songs doing this album, like over 150, like around 150. So I got so much material just to grow with and just keep building on the sound. And I'm just excited to see where we take it. It's going to drop ASAP, like, the next few months. Day is just dope. She's a dope artist to me. Um, I just wanted a dope female singer on that on the record. The record was just a feel good song, you know, that that uh, we was all that my team was happy about and I just felt like it was just depicting that that young love story that I I feel like it was it was necessary on the album and it was just a big record that I couldn't pass up. And um, it's definitely another element for me, like a growner element, another approach. And I just wanted to try try something new. And um, I think it's a great record. That record um, is called Life Song. It's one of, that's one of my favorite, every song is one of my favorites on the album. It's not like one of them albums where it's a filler. Like every song, it speaks my, my piece, my story, you know, and how I feel. Shout out to BJ. We recorded that song um, in the studio together out in LA. And um, yeah, the feeling, the feeling is just good. And it's just, it's called Life Song. Like, you know, have you ever heard a song called Life Song? That's my point. It's like, I just tried to do something different, just do me on this album. And, um, I can't wait to see people hear that record. I love that record. Shout out to the homie S Dot. He produced that. He out of LA. Shout out to him. I work with Hit Boy. Um, I worked with TAC out of LA. Um, homie is Mike and Keys. They, they were previously called the Futuristics. They did a lot of stuff with Dom, Nipsey, with me on Life Changes. Um, I worked with the homie Fresh Chuck. He's based out of Hawaii. I just like moved around like to a lot of people that I've been working with. A lot of my homies, you know what I'm saying? That's like coming up and doing their thing. And, I worked with the homie Sounds. He's awesome. He did he did some records with Justin Bieber, with uh, Trey Songs and stuff like that. Drake, yeah, he oh, he dope, super dope. Um, yeah, I just experienced. I really just went to what, whatever record that moved me. You know, like I'm never really about the name or who did it. Like I was just about if it matches me, if I if I love the feeling, if I can listen to it for a week or two weeks straight and then keep listening to it like five weeks later, like. If it doesn't get old to me, then I know. I felt bad about having to cancel that show. Um, I should have probably still tried to do it, but they told me I couldn't do it because um, all the stuff that was going on. But uh, it's unfortunate, you know, people got to be strong and stuff like that. But these little, like these events, they probably happen so fast and then the whole world goes in like uprage. But, you know, I think it's crazy how it was, you know, all the things that's going on. But that's why I kept tweeting like pray for Baltimore because it's just like, the city just need that positive energy, you know, people need that. And what they're doing is kind of, it's necessary because it brings the attention and it sheds light on things that people need to focus on, you know what I mean? And um, shout out to Baltimore, man. Pray for Baltimore. And I, I want to let y'all know that I'll be back ASAP, you know what I'm saying, for that Live and Grow tour. And uh, my apologies for canceling that. I just want to let them know Live and Grow, man, the debut album is it's amazing. I just want y'all to listen, you know what I'm saying? Just, Go to your room, go ride around the city, just vibe out, man, and enjoy the music. It's Young Casey Veggies, I'm gonna keep working hard, you know what I'm saying, grinding, you already know what it is, P's and Carrots International. Make sure y'all check out my website, CaseyVeggies.com. Shout out to Hot New Hip Hop, I'm rocking with y'all a long way. Let's get it, West Side. Bow. Are you my friend or my enemy? Most of these people pretend to be. Claiming and acting like Kennedy, wasn't celebrity, would you be enemy? 
So many hoes and like 10 of me, sorry so sad, he faking the chemistry. We do this on six and infinity, pouring up Hennessy, real nigga remedy. I did this shit on my own. I bought this whip with no loan. Took my mom from apartment to home. Bought the book on flights at the Rome. Now we seeing new faces together. At times at the top, you alone. And we about to get rich forever. I guess this shit come with the throne. Yeah, new faces. Let me show you how Brooklyn I am. Let me show you how Brooklyn I am. This is this is this is Jay Z right here. Jay Z earned Jay Z earned all his money. Jay Z is not Illuminati. You hating ass niggas that's hating on Jay Z. If he want to fucking be Illuminati, let him. But Jay Z's a real nigga. He's a real nigga. This is real Jay right here. This is real Jay. I mean like, she really asked the speaker and everything. She's prepared. Look. This is the original. Bottom line, imaginary players. Hey, hold on. She really hey, brought out the title. Because at the time we were just dropping songs back to back to back. So we did the first Streets Unlocked. We dropped it. It went like past a million, five million views, some shit like that. So we just kept on hitting them out with Streets Unlocked 2, boom, right after that. And then Streets Unlocked 3. Like every Streets Unlocked, 